in five, four, three, two. <sighs> Welcome. <laughs> when did Mike? Five, when did four, three, two. Welcome back for another month episode. Mm, it's not good. Welcome. Yo, what is that? I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> I am your father. In five, four, three, two. It's, why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> We're brothers. Yo, <laughs> well, happy in the city. Why do my arms do that? Five, four, three, two. Welcome. It's the Mel Intuition. We back with another episode. We appreciate y'all tuning in so vividly and alwaysly and consistently. Ain't nothing worse than the nigga using the room. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mel Intuition. You know, I thought I would try to give it a different approach this time. Usually I come on, I'm very high energy. To, um, I could come off very uh, spontaneous. In five, four, <laughs> three, two. <laughs> million dollar poses, million dollar flows. I ain't thinking about a deal, ain't a million dollars, no. Back up on hey, welcome to the Mel Intuition. We back. Goals. We got another episode lined up for y'all. It's crazy. You already know I got the best co host in the world. My name is Dejan Alfred, and this is my boy. What's going on, everybody? It's Kavon. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of The, the Mel Male Intuition. Intuition. Mm. What's going on? I want to start off by talking about this protest going on in the NFL. Okay. okay. I ain't the oldest guy in the world, but, you know, I am getting up there in age. And for the amount of time that I've been watching the NFL, I have never seen something like this. Things have gone so far with the Kaepernick situation to the point where teams have not even come out of the locker room, which is really crazy to me, honestly. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers did it. Somebody else did it. I mean, teams is just sitting down. You got jokers stretching during the national anthem. Now, I support Cap and everything that he's doing. I do believe that um, we do live in, live in a country where I, I won't say everybody free, but I mean they, they tell you you're free, but you know, but we'll, that's a whole nother topic. We do live in a country where you can't exercise your your rights, and Kaepernick is simply exercising his to not want to stand to salute the flag. And this is going on so far as to involve under other teams and other individuals to to sit as well for the salute of the flag, but. Donald Trump is the bigger reason of why many individuals have chose to sit. For me, that's I think that's a that's a key piece, and I think that kind of something that we need to look at as a community, right? Mm -hmm. So, Kaepernick, this is this isn't new. This has been going on since last season, right? This going on since last um, season. Kaepernick has been unemployed for quite some time at mm -hmm. at, at this stance, right? Mm -hmm. And so, when you look at what not what his stance is about, you know what I mean? I agree with the stance. If you agree with the stance, cool. He was he was he was a um, example. They were trying to make an example. Right, 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 right. And so now it's getting way more coverage than it sh when it, it should have. It should have been as big as it was when when he, he when first it started. started doing it. When he first started doing it. But okay, here you got Donald Trump that really is that putting, has has it taken it to a whole nother level. Just trying to play devil's advocate here. But I had this conversation with my boys the other day and they was really getting on me about what I was saying. And it, now that's just my honest opinion. Okay. He already wasn't starting. Let me let me just put that out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. He was on a terrible team. I think they had one maybe two games. He played for the 49ers. He got in a few years back. He took them jokers all the way to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. One thing I want to touch on is the part where the other individuals in which they have employed since not employing him. Jay Cutler, for instance, fucking terrible on the Chicago Bears, okay? Couldn't even get hired nowhere else, so he planned to get on TV and start and start doing sports commentating, right? Okay. Went and got this man, Jay Cutler, off the air to come back to play football when he was already re retired. Mm -hmm. That told me they do not fuck with Cat. Yeah. But on a number of levels, I believe he should have a job. 
But what I was telling my friends, I was just throwing a little sidebar in there that when he did get cut, he was not playing good. He was not playing good. And I think that's another thing that they added to the fact that your fucking phone is going off during the show. Fuck is that, that it's the symbolism behind yes. um, the whole ordeal, right? And right. so whether he was playing or not, um, that's one case. Um, was he doing it at first to kind of just ruffle feathers or even to kind of gain, gain some attention? Right, right. That's, you know, I've heard, I've heard all of those different things. Right, right. The case in point that bothers me is that for what he pronounced, um, his rationale for doing what he did. Right, right. And the backlash that he's receiving and had it been um, other, other, another rationale, would he still be under the same scrutiny or, 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 or speculation? You know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. And so I don't, and well, I, I, the answer for me is no. You know right. what I mean? And it's hard to do ifs and possibles and maybe. No, well, but well, we, one of the we can see the ifs, facts. We can see the facts. It's, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a fact behind it. And one of the, one of the biggest ifs that we could throw into this whole equation is if he was white. He have a job right now. He have a job right now. There would be no way that everything would have got out of hand the way it did. And I want to add on to the Donald Trump thing. He he was talking to the um, he called him a son of a bitch. Didn't the, he? the basketball player. No, he didn't call. Him. He didn't call the basketball player a son of a bitch. He called who he called sons of bitches. He called the people not standing for the flag. Right. The and then he knee. touched on Steph Curry did, uh, right. not wanting to come to the White House, right. and that's when he said that his. Invitation was revoked, right? And then that's when LeBron, LeBron James got involved and everything like that and uh, defending him and stuff. So just like Cap, Steph is given his right, his, his his own constitutional right to not want to go somewhere that he don't want to go. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing that nobody pointed, nobody wanted to bring out was Tom Brady ain't go to the um White House when Obama was there. You sons of bitch, you cracker, you can't come. You know what I'm saying? Obama ain't say that. At the end of the day, it is what it is. I think, I don't want this show to get too political because we can go on forever about Donald Trump. But one thing I do want to say is, I do appreciate the African-American community backing Colin Kaepernick the way that they have. Even though even, even though they back, you still, I think what's crazy is that you really see the layers and the truth about uh, of different people's personalities. Right. Ray Lewis. Oh, he was a joke. How many people have told Cap sit down? You right, know, what I mean? right, and it's very right, reminiscent right. of the stories. This is for us. You know, it's crazy because we write about civil rights and mm -hmm. all of these things coming up, mm -hmm. but we are living in a time and a space where, like, this is oh, it's real. This is the story it's that we're gonna tell our kids that you know what I mean. That it's we real. Live in. Yeah, it's and real. so when you hear about people, I'm just who, mad because with the Martins and the Malcolms and people who told them to sit down, no, don't do, don't stand right, for anything, right, right. and now to see it, you know what I mean. People that you garnered to have respect for, right, 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 you know what I mean. Kind of come back and say, listen, um, you know, chill out, don't do this, you know right, 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 like, right. Keep your job, and it's hard because you know what I mean. You don't want to take a check away from anybody but you don't want to harm yourself and your family you know you, you, you don't want to be in a position where you not only lose your check now you lose endorsements you losing you know sponsorship you know and all behind because of something that you believe which shouldn't be the case but you know at the end of the day you got to ask yourself are you willing to go 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 this far for what you believe in like malcolm like martin you know what i mean rosa you know what i'm saying harriet she ain't have to get in that dirt she ain't have to crawl what hurts cap is that he wasn't playing so if it would have been different if that's the point starting. i'm trying to make if, if, if it, that's the if point he, i was trying to make if he was starting it all you already and already lost it yes then it would then, that's this what would i was trying bigger. to say to but my it friends. hurt it hurts him that he was a, he really wasn't you was already not starting. so him cutting it was you, like we ain't want you anyway you had one but, foot in one foot out a little just a couple seconds ago i mentioned endorsements and losing sponsorships and yeah, stuff I like about that to say, talk about the bs uh, i want to talk about cam, cam newton cammy cam cam i didn't think he was being rude. Now, what he did was rude. Okay, see, I don't know. I feel like I'm. Yo, I feel like I'm on the stop. fence, yo. Yo, stop. I feel like I'm on the fence because Pete. Because Pete, 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 I'm Pete, See, it's, see, it's different. It's stop, different. Okay, bro. okay. What do you mean? He wilded out. He wilded out. He wilded out. out. He wilded out. He wilded out. He got up there and said. <laughs> It's kind of see. It's kind of funny hearing women talk about routes. I'm not. What? I'm not gonna lie. What? You know I'm how not many gonna lie. women sports enthusiasts there are. There's, I believe. Yeah, there, there are women who know way more about sports. I like sports, Jamel Hill. Jamel Hill. Uh, the, the shorty that be on TV. Uh, I, I was see, with her. 
I was with her in she's terrible. But but I was with her in Cancun. I was with her in Cancun. Shall, shall we go what you talking about? No. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm so, not gonna hold so, you. So so for him to make that comment was really sexist. I'm gonna be hundred really percent. I'm gonna be I'm gonna see, really I'm, misogynist. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be hundred percent honest with you. It was out of line. I was actually watching the interview live, okay? I was I was really watching the interview live. And a lot of people don't know the backstory behind why he was acting the way he was acting. Before the game, nobody wanted to interview him. Okay. Because they've been losing. Um, and he ain't been playing too hot, so they wasn't really off him like that. Okay. And then after they beat the Patriots, you know, well-known, nationally recognized team that everybody know be winning. You know what I mean? Once he beat, he came through the hallway like, nah, nah, nah don't be trying to interview me now because y'all ain't want to talk to me earlier, blah, blah, blah. So he was already on one. When the lady was like, because this is what she said, um, is the physicality of his route, you know, surprising you? And I'm not going to lie, I started chuckling a little bit. I was like physicality of a route like nobody says that you know i get where she was coming from because you got to do more but if, it's like if, why if, would you say physicality if, of a route that shit is funny if if if, if he... i would never go to my nigga and be like yo you see no Dell run that route did you see the physicality of this nigga no i'm gonna say did you see that fucking route you know what i'm saying did you see that cut that nigga made yeah. physicality of a route what okay. the fuck is that now if he would have chuckled and said <laughs> physicality right 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 that, 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 that would have worked he said <laughs> it's funny to hear women talk about right he he right. You're right you're right he you're right out. you're right and they said after, after the fact the ex- she go. tried to talk to him again and he was just he was being disrespectful well again, not so. that he was being disrespectful from what i understand he was like basically kind of dismissing the fact that he was being misogynist. He was just like, well, maybe I should have said, um, it's funny to hear reporters talk about reporters, right, right, talk right, about right, routes. Right. So he didn't even acknowledge the fact that, you know what I'm saying, he was discrediting women knowing um, just as much about football than as men. Mm-hmm. He's just like, forget all that. It's just basically, um, it's just funny to hear you talk about sports. Um, so, so it's like, you know, he losing a lot of bread behind this, and that's why he came out with that apology. You know what I'm saying? So, do I think the apology is genuine? No, because had he got away with what he said on that on that podium, this situ- this situation would have been underwater. You know what I'm saying? That type of scrutiny, that type of repercussion for an action, makes sense. Mm-hmm. But that you, makes sense, right? You know what I'm saying? Like when you out of line in that way. But cap. Not disrespecting nobody, or whatever. And another thing about the cap situation, I wanted to bring out too. A lot of people are tying it into a patriotic thing, where they're where they're coming at the soldiers. It has nothing to do with them. He's sitting and kneeling for the injustice that's going on in this world, instead of representing and saluting the flag of a country that doesn't salute and represent its African American population the way it should. What about? Because even if and it was an interview, I forgot who it was doing, but um, um, my man said that, um, and I can get it back to you and let y'all know. But he was basically saying that if Cap would have knelt and said, um, "I'm kneeling because veterans don't get the rightful um, adequate oh, then they would have resources." They would have put him on. They would have put. They would have. They would have him. They would have got him. more yeah, He would have been, been in DC right, right now. They, right? they have a desk for him. They would have given him a pen. Yeah, you know yeah. What yeah. I'm Without it, acknowledged him for yeah, that. So I, I ain't even talking about that. I'm, I keep trying to stare away from Trump because I don't want to get started. But, but you can't. I really wish that. I really wish that we. And I don't want to take too much time up on the show. But I really wish we could have brought up the point of him going out to Puerto Rico. Taking them fucking paper towels and shooting them shits into and the I crowd. Out, like I was, like I was hurt, bro. If that nigga was standing next to me at that time, I would have fought him dead ass, and but, I would have been okay with but, my job. But, but see, but see, what you also have to it's take like, into account, what yo. you also have to take into account too, right? Is that they weren't irate though. Like if you look at that video, bro. Let me tell you they, something. They, 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 they let were, me and, tell they, you and they were laughing at it. And let like, me it's tell stuff you something. Like that you can't laugh at. But let me tell you something. Let a but, fucking hurricane come through here and tear all this shit up, and you don't have nothing. And a dude, a president, come and he offering some help or something like that. I mean, put yourself in these people's shoes mentally. They have nothing. Everything is gone. These motherfuckers was without power for like a week and some change. A hundred percent no power. So you know, I believe a, some of them were kind of, some of them were kind of telling themselves, at least he here to help, blah blah blah. But for us on this end, it's like, are you fucking kidding but me? I don't even, I don't think it was so much. Oh, he here to help. I'm surprised somebody didn't whack him, wild on him. You know what I mean? Like throw that shit back. You know what I mean? Fuck, but like, nigga. But like you I'll said, that's the, the last thing on their mind. That's the last. That's thing the last thing. But but like you know, 
for me to watch TV and it see hurt, these people have nothing, and, then, and him take these paper towels and throw them into the, the crowd, like, and like people been joking with it on like social media, like, look at his form, look at his form, his form is flawless. Like, how could y'all make a joke about that? Well, you gotta understand, it, it don't it don't hit until it hit home. It don't hit until it hit home. That people, shit really people are real despondent to situations until it, it directly affects them, and so a lot of my. Uh, friends who are Puerto Rican heritage didn't find it funny at all. I think it speaks to his uh, candor. It speaks to his um, level of emotional intelligence mm -hmm. to be able to handle those situations as a, as our leader. You know what I'm saying? The president of the free world um, to go out there and that's how he's representing. I just poor. really hope. Piss I really poor. Hope, it's beyond piss, piss poor. poor. Beyond piss poor. It's like every time some bad shit happen, it take a fire, a bus truck, and a whole company to drag this man to wherever the issue is. It's like he don't even want to fucking go. He over here in fucking Fiddler's elbow at the fucking uh uh fucking bed minister at that golf damn course playing golf when there's some real shit going on in this world. You know what I'm saying? Like. Come on, man. But, you know, I don't want to draw too much attention to that and jump into it because we keep talking all night. But I think he was at the Giants game today. No, he wasn't because I would have threw them hands. Oh, yeah. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of The Male Intuition. My name is Kavon Walton. Um... <laughs> you can find me at on the gram at uh what's my name underscore k w a l i t y this nigga's a nut twitter it's your boy dejan dahon if you nasty mm. you can find me on instagram underscore d a l f o r d underscore you can find me on the snap <laughs> find me <laughs> dejan d a j o n on that snap. Mm. Million dollar pose with these million dollar flows. I ain't thinking about a deal, ain't a million dollars no. Back up on my face, I got a million dollar glow. Say you sold for some clothes, now you reaping what you sow. I been kicking ass, I got a million dollar toe. I be quarterbacking deals, that's a million dollar pro. Keep your greasy weave off my couch, that's a no. The rugged alpaca, that's a million dollar throw. Pillow on the floor, disobeyed it, you can go. King D.